Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Man the Maker. Welcome to a new series for Sid Meier's Alien Crossfire, a Brian Reynolds design. This game is probably the best 4X game ever made. Bold statement, I know. It is made by the creators of Civilization, uh, Sid Meier's, of course. Brian Reynolds also uh, worked on the first couple of them. I don't really remember. Um, Alien Crossfire is the expansion pack to Alpha Centauri. And uh, essentially, the, the idea of the game is when you one way to beat civilization, any of them, I think, is you can launch a spaceship to Alpha Centauri. And you think, hey, all of humanity will have united now because of this, behind uh, presumably your banner. And you think all is well and all is fine. Unfortunately, humans uh, being humans, by the time the spaceship has reached the planet, uh, everyone has split off into factions. And uh, upon landing, everyone goes their own separate ways, depending on how many players are in the game. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just Earth all over again, with a couple of caveats. So that, this game, the reason I say it's so good has a lot to do with the atmosphere and the writing. Um, strange for a 4X game, as they're not particularly known for writing, but um, the flavor that is just infused into this game is just so thick. The atmosphere is so thick, it just... I don't know, there's just something about it. And the creativity that has gone into this game that uh, just continues to blow me away. I was thinking, what should I do for another series? I would like to do another strategy game as opposed to a roguelike, which I've been doing quite a bit of on this channel. And I thought to myself, hey, you don't have the expansion pack to Civilization VI, so why not do uh, Alien Crossfire? And so here we are. And uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start mm -hmm. the game. We are going to do a random map. I think I'm just going to do completely random. We're going to do a standard planet size. I don't need to go huge, I think. And uh, last time I played, it was the first time I had picked this game up again in like five or ten years or something. I did Thinker. This time, um, yeah, we're going to do Transcend. I, If you've seen this channel before, you know that uh, I like to push my limits. Oftentimes this ends in disaster, and I have failed at many, uh, many a campaign, but I have succeeded in, in a good number as well. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and just do the hardest difficulty. Um, we will uh, probably play with the rules that I played with last time. All victory conditions on, don't restart limited players, blind research, so we don't actually get to set our research goals. I just like this. I think it's a little bit more realistic. Uh, Everything else will just kind of be um, set as it is. Yeah. Blind research, I can explain a little bit more. You pick which direction you want your research to work into. Uh, where you want your researchers to go. Whether that is conquer, build, uh, growth. No, explore and discover. So basically, war, infrastructure, um the planet itself or pure science and these are not like if you focus on one of them you're not only going to discover the things in them because there are eh, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out together if you're not familiar so without further ado i'm gonna hit okay the question now is who do we play as we can choose our faction now we have of course the basic Oh, this is, these are all the people in the game. We are going to do random this time for everyone except for me. Last time I just had the old people in um, from the original, the base game. This time we're going to go completely random. I, I could do only the new groups, but I don't think I'm going to do that. But for us, I am going to pick... I am going to pick the angels. These people, um, they're, they, wait, is that right? The Data Angels? Info Girl? I, that makes it really difficult for me to pick that. Um, or was it the Consciousness Crap? Ooh, I wish, can I, can I check what you do? Apparently not. I'm pretty sure it's the Data Angels. These guys are hackers! What's more important, the Data or the Jazz? Sure, sure, information should be free. 
and all that, but anyone can get it set information free. The jazz is in how you do it, what you do to it, man, and almost getting caught without getting caught. The data is ones and zeros. Life is the jazz. I'm going to play them despite my distaste <laughs> for all of this. All of this and this, I'm still going to play them. She kind of looks like Rihanna, which I'm neutral on, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, we are going to do this. Why are we going to do this? Well, I, so last time I played as The Hive. They are a very kind of industry, collective, uh, police state focused group. This time I was like, you know, especially on Transcendence, I imagine everyone else is going to have better tech than me. Why maybe I can try and focus a bit on more of like a a probe team, a spy kind of centric game. I have no idea of the uh, efficacy of this. Is it actually plausible? Uh, unknown. Unknown to me. I didn't research it, frankly. Um, but we're going to try it because I like to do different things. I also considered doing um, The Believers, which is something that I've never done because they are not good at research and it's just difficult for me they're very good at fighting but they're dumb very passionate about attacking they're like uh, i mean they're really just fundamentalists very aggressive but not deep thinkers you know if you're a religious fundamentalist well yeah take that in then i guess but <laughs> i digress i should i should really shut up we're gonna do all random we are gonna be the data angels What's more important, the data She's or the read jazz? It for us. Sure, sure, information should be free and all that, but anyone can set information free. The jazz is in how you do it, what you do it to, and in almost getting caught without getting caught. The data is ones and zeros. Life is the jazz. Oh. Tech syndromes, info box. I don't know why that irritates me so much. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if uh, what, 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 what are your thoughts on this? I don't know. Behavior, speech, thinking is. Um, Rose, Rose with the Z. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave it, and we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna get started. A new era of struggle and opportunity awaits you. The UN Starship Unity has arrived in the Alpha Centauri system after a 40-year voyage. All contact with Earth has been lost. After Captain Garland's assassination by an unknown assailant, the crew mutinied and split into factions. In the ensuing conflict, some seize control of the Unity's colony pods. Colony pods. You now shape the destiny of your data tech faction, which has just made Planetfall. Jazz hands because life is the jazz, man. And here we go. So apparently this guy, Captain Garland, died. We are Data Decentral. Oh boy. It's gonna be like this, huh? What is the deal with our faction? Well, if we go and take a look, we can see, right? We start with bad policing. Only one police unit allowed. Police is actually uh, quite useful. And this might be a problem later on. But we do start with bonuses to probe team. So we have higher probe team morale, which uh, probe teams are basically your spies. Gonna be very useless in the beginning. Very, very useless in the beginning. Um, Cause we don't have any probe teams, nor anyone to use them on. But once we do, I'm going to try and force myself to make ample use of them and see how that goes. Now we do start off with planned available to us. Now, the way this game works, right? This is this is our government. I should I should get a little bit more into the explanation of what this means. Our society has all of these factors, right? Generally, you start at zero, though your faction does have specifics, some pluses and some minuses. We're worse at policing, but we're better at probe teams, spying. Different factions have different things. Um, for example, I think uh, the fundamentalists who I mentioned before, they have a bonus to morale. They're just good at fighting, I think. But they're not so good at research. So this is like the way that the game can kind of uh, enforce things in. You can see down here, this is our current uh, status. Now, you know, this, is, this is what we do as the angels. 
Now, as you discover new technologies, also apparently sometimes you start with some of them, you can uh, enact different government, uh, well, different political system, different economic system, different value system, and eventually a different future society. We start with planned. This allows us to have terrible efficiency, appalling inefficiency. So <clears throat> reduces energy lost to inefficiency. We are gonna lose more energy to inefficiency. Energy is, um, I believe, just how much money you make effectively, which you use for upkeep, you use to buy things. However, we do gain a bonus to growth, reduces nutrients for population growth, and mineral cost decreases by 10. And of course, I mean, I think for role-playing purposes, we're just gonna have to go ahead and do it. So let's go. I mean, the pulling efficiency is not good, pulling inefficiency. So let's cost things 40 credits right off the bat. We can also modify these things down here, but we're going to go ahead and... Energy. Okay, we're not we're not going to do that. That's that general idea. Here's our city, right? Just as in any civilization game, except you do not found your city to start off. Um, we instead start with one. And uh, we start with a scout patrol. Just your basic unit. One attack, one defense, one movement. You do use different values, whether you are attacking or defending. Um, you can also modify our units quite extensively, but we'll get into that when the time comes. Apparently, I do start with a second colony pod and a probe team. But that's cool. Why don't I start with this colony pod? Huh. Is that the data angels? Or I'm not really sure. Um, but uh, we can go ahead and look into our city. Basic um, civilization, Holy Cross. I think this is from four and earlier that they use this uh, this design, or you just have two tiles out, uh, basically in every direction. Um, well, you can see for yourself. We are currently building a scout patrol. We can change that into building other things. Your minerals, we get two, allows you to build things. Your energy is your money. Now we have no inefficiency. This right here, that minus, minus zero, no inefficiency. This would change based on our uh, government types, government society, sorry, our society um, build, I guess you can call it. Taking um, the planned economy, I think it was, might give us a minus here. Your capital might work differently. Also, the more cities you have, the further you get away from uh, your city, also the more inefficiency you have, from your capital, I should say. Two turns until we can build the scout patrol. I'm gonna build it, I wanna scout. Um, and uh, yeah, so this is all we need to worry about here for now. Also, and food, of course, goes into growth. We can then now move. So let's do it. A Unity Rover in working condition. We've discovered a fast vehicle. Which is gonna come right over here. Abundant mineral resources. That's nice. 20 turns or 20 turns. I'm quite happy to just build things faster. Right now. 20 turns until a network node. So, right. Units. Military units. This is a settler, basically. This is our spy. Network node is... Effectively a library. We can just stockpile energy, turning our minerals into energy, or we can build a world wonder, a national project, a secret project. This means network nodes effectively, well, we can look at you. Network nodes count as hologram theaters at each of your bases, reducing number of drones by two and increasing psych output. So could be quite useful for us, considering um, we are going to have bad policing ability. Drones are basically unhappy people, but uh, I think I'm still going to build this next scout patrol. Yeah, I'll build the scout patrol. And you're gonna just hold, hold put. Same thing with turn you. Complete. And there's the first turn. We're going to end it. Here is where we get to focus our research. Now, in the beginning, I definitely don't need conquer. I'm actually quite happy with this setup. Explore is also useful, but I think 
These two are quite good. If we can get Secrets of the Human Brain to start off with, you get a free technology which you get through Discover. In fact, why don't we go into Discover first? Just in case we have the opportunity to do that. I'm sure the AI will beat us, but maybe they get unlucky. You are, of course, going to hang out. You guys are going to explore. Now, what is this red stuff here? This is fungus. So this alien planet we are on has uh, some stuff growing on it. It makes it difficult to travel. But also has some other kind of crazy things that go on later on as well. Turns in very quickly, which is nice. <laughs> Well, what power pot has set up solar collectors in the area, so this will give us a bonus to energy if we were over here. So this area would actually give us quite good energy with that. But we're just gonna keep on exploring. There's a monolith here. So there's a morale system in the game. The higher your morale, just you get a percentage bonus to strength. It's quite quite powerful. Um frankly, I think this is a pretty solid place to go and build a city. Inventing a slight form. Ooh, we may want to just attack him. I think we do. And I'm going to build another scout patrol. Let's see. We can support two units free per base. As you build more units, you actually have to pay for them. We can support two for free, but if we get three, then we start losing minerals. Uh, great. I will get a second one because of the difficulty I'm on. I'm a little bit nervous and I want to make sure that uh, I don't lose any of my cities. You are going to need to come and heal. You are going to come out here. And you are going to keep exploring. Turn complete. I wish... Uh, the... We'll just say your turn. Complete. You can probably not move into there yet. You're going to have to heal. Scout patrol is done. We are going to, I suppose, get up this network node uh, as quickly as we can. And, um, yeah, you can go explore again. Okay. Rivers count as roads, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, you just hang out. We don't want to really overlap. And that would overlap. Oh, hello. Well, let's attack it. You get a bonus. Okay, so these mine worms are barbarians, effectively. But they don't use your basic attack values. Instead, because they're psionic, you actually... Um, it's, it's... I think there's a base... No, it's purely morale. It's all... They use psychic powers, and you have to fight them off. And if you can withstand their psychic assaults, then you can just kill them quite easily. Um, they cause like hallucinations and terrible things to happen to you and you basically will just kill yourself and let them eat your brains um, unless you can withstand that so it's purely morale based if you have higher morale then you're going to be more likely to win and uh, Turn that's how that goes after days of mysterious activity in the Alpha Centauri system a strange craft seems to have fallen out of planetary orbit Spectral readings indicate that its hull is not of Earth origin. So, one of the factions we are playing against is an alien. Book of Planet. Um, I am not going to read this. I read it in the last time, in the last series. If you're interested in reading it, you, know, you can always pause here and check it out. But I've seen it so many times um, that uh, I'm, I'm not super interested in spending my valuable voice power on that. We're going to send you out here to go and uh, defend that place. Uh, you'll have here. You'll have here. You will have overlap. Let's move you up one more. Continue moving you out as well. <sighs> I love the fast turns. Yeah, keep on exploring. We'll go this way. Lots of pods Energy here. Oh. Resources. A robot power pod is set up. Solar collectors in this area. That's actually, I think I'm going to make these episodes a little bit longer than that. But we are going to build a city here. Boom. Rose Function has been established. Sister Miriam of the Believers founded mankind's first base since Planetfall. So we know Miriam is here. She's always a treat to work with. She built the first city. Whoa. Rose Function. Built. You do not need a scout patrol. 
fact, just go right into a network node. Yes, do that. Turn complete. We'll end your turn. Biogenetics. To be sacred, but we also know the foundation of life consists of a stream of codes, not so different from the successive frames of a watchlet. Why then cannot we cut one code short here and start another there? Is life so fragile that it can withstand no tempering? Does the sacred brook no improvement? Chairman Shen Ji Yang, Dynamics of Mind. There is an interesting, uh, interesting point here in the age of GMOs. This, this is more real now than ever than when this game first came out almost twenty years ago. I do not think we're going to get Secrets of the Human Brain, which is that tech which would just give us a free tech because we didn't get it first. So I'm going to split this and go into um, build and discover. Possibly explore and build. I think I like that, let's do that. The Morganites are also here. They have uh, beaten us to a technology by five years. Makes sense. Ooh, an alien artifact. So if we take this to a base with a network node, I think we got a free tech. Is it? And there is Miriam. Let's be friends. Well met, Dave Jack Rose. I am now called Sister Miriam and act as the voice of the believers whose intent it is to embrace the truth of the good Lord scriptures. I see you and your minions have flourished on this unforgiving world. She wants planetary networks. Um, yep, yeah, you can have them. You can have them because I don't uh, want war with you. I'm afraid of war. We are within your city, so we will have to, uh, we will leave. That my worm just got wrecked. Okay. Let's, let's leave your borders. And you are going to head back. And you are going to head back Turn as well. Complete. Um, actually, you should go this way. Turn complete. And the turn. Um, this place is building a network node. Can I change you? To recycling tanks. Five minerals would be lost. Uh, I think it's worth. No, keep making it. So recycling tanks give you bonus resources in your starting tile. I think one energy and one mineral? I could be wrong. Um, yeah, you can just come back up on over here and you can go and defend this place. My wife has sent me a very distracting message, which I will promptly ignore. Planet's atmosphere, where gods bring death to humans and most animals, is paradise for earth plants. The high nitric content of the soil and the rich yellow sunlight bring an abundant harvest wherever adjustments can be made for the unusual soil conditions. Lady Deidre Sky, the comparative biology of planet. So we have researched Centauri Ecology. This is really, really, really good because we have basically builders or pioneers or um, workers through the terraforming unit and the, the formers here. So very useful. Weather paradigm is also very, very useful. Makes your uh, terraforming speed go faster and you can build uh, things that you have not yet discovered. Condensers and boreholes being quite useful, both of them. Um, I do not want to go into nutrient the uh, research thing. Mm, abundant nutrient resources. That's uh, okay. You are going to just chill there, and we are going to let the turns pass. Um, please don't declare war on me. She would wreck me with. How do you have? This is uh. Oh, will you tell? No. This is a very scary unit. You would he if she attacked me, she would probably just be able to wipe me out. Um, I don't remember what they are exactly, but they are quite strong. It's a Call battle ogre. Ooh, a dimensional rift has cloned our Unity rover. Indigenous life form. And there's uh, you can move again. Go ahead and attack, please. You get a bonus on attack against psionics. Again, feel free to. Um, I'll go ahead and read this. You can pause that. I am just going to skip it. Oh! What the heck is this? 
Guardian Himenier of the Caretakers. No, I don't want to fight aliens, I think. I think I don't want to fight aliens. You're just going to hang out there. And you're going to explore. Okay, you can go that way. What is this? We have seized uh, something? I've, I've taken a city. But from who? What was that? Um, oh, well, it seems I've declared war on an alien. Well, that probably was a bad idea. Almost certainly a bad idea. You're going you're gonna to kill me now. And this is also an alien, but he's an artillery piece. Should be easy to kill. Yeah, we'll take the, uh, the XP as well as you get a little bit of money. Um, and actually, we can go ahead and change this now. More growth, cheaper industry, pay the money. Please, please do. Um, I probably should not have attacked that. <laughs> oh no, you are going to die. Um, I think I'm going to retreat from you. Oh. Improvement destroyed. Um, date drone riots. Why are you upset, drones? Because I grew, and now you're gonna starve. If you can discover a better way of life than office holding for your future rulers, a well-governed city becomes a possibility. For only in such a state will those rule who are truly rich, not in gold but in the wealth that makes happiness, a good and wise life. Plato, the Republic, data links. Well, all right, right on. This is basically a temple. This would help with these drone riots. Basically, drone riots are um, a revolt. They, they are very upset. Very, very upset. Which means we might need to just go into a recreation commons right after this network node. Um, you can, I, I would like you to escape, please, and you can sit up on top of the mountain planet, and you can just probably stand there and defend. Ah, you're destroying all my damn things. People are starving. Drone rides have ended, yeah, of course. Oh, we lost all of our growth from that? Brutal. Brutal. That's... That's actually quite painful. Um, you can just try and run away. And you are going to rest Turn until you can heal. You're going to just defend. We can kill this artillery piece. Artilleries can shoot from range, so they don't Turn usually something. kill things right away. But they can also blow up um, this stuff. Uh, improvements. Which is uh, less than ideal. This place is awesome. Why did we have drone riots? at my other city. It doesn't actually tell you what makes them unhappy. I guess that's gonna be okay. I'm building these network nodes. It's probably not ideal. I need to get all my of these guys back. But actually, since I haven't used the timer, I've probably let this go on for far too long. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's the first one in a new series, so expect these to be coming out probably every day. Um, a little bit of a rocky start. You've starved. Did not need to do that. Well, no, I probably did. You've starved. We also captured a city of these guys and uh, declared war on them, which is not great. Not great. Um, we have uh, settled very close to Marriott, who tends to be aggressive. Also not great. So... Um, a little scary. We are towards the bottom. I think this is us. Yeah, the aliens are both on top. Hopefully we can make friends with these aliens and use them against these. I don't really know. But um, that's going to be our future strategy is to try and survive. This is the first time I've probably ever played this on Transcend. So we'll see how, how long this series lasts.
And uh, let me know down in the bottom, in the comments, down in the bottom, down below, what you think about this new series, what do you think about this game in general, and um, yeah, you know, I'd love to hear from you guys, and if you like this, if you like, if you're happy that I'm playing this game, give me a like, if you're unhappy, give me a dislike, it's totally fine, and um, if you really enjoy this and my style and the kind of games, feel free to check out my other videos, I've got lots as well as another uh, series of Alpha Centauri and Alien Crossfire and many others. And if you like what you see, please do subscribe. I appreciate it. It helps out the channel quite a bit. So it does make me happy. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode. And until next time, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.